mentors are just you know everything in this because if you're just not aware of what you what we're going to learn all what you require first is like the correct road map for it and i think the mentors really uh, laid out the road map pretty pretty clearly that was really helpful and then uh, i think they pretty much cover right everything from scratch everything from basics so i never really felt the need of like i need to do something prior to joining this particular course <laughs> Good evening everyone welcome to the Akhi Job YouTube channel my name is Brunal Kamboj today we have a very amazing guest with us named Varun Varun completed his graduation in 2019 in electrical and electronics engineering after that he worked as a freelancer for some time he joined Akhi Job last year and now he has been placed in Avizwa as a software developer engineer so let's welcome Varun and know more about his journey welcome Varun and congratulations on getting placed in such an amazing company Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh Varun I'll start by asking you can you tell us something about your background? Yeah sure. So I've done my schooling and uh, I've been brought up in Delhi. So I've done my schooling from Delhi as well. Like I did my high school from Guru Krishna Public School. Then I did my diploma uh that to electrical then I did my uh BTech in electrical as well. And then I was just looking for a job in IT companies. So then I joined IT jobs and finally I got placed in a visa. right and when you were looking for you know when you were freelancing and then you thought okay i should shift completely towards it field during this research how did you get to know about akia job yeah so uh, one of my teacher actually advised me to join akia jobs he got to know about it from some uh, i think some of my uh, classmates probably and then he just advised me for it okay and how once when you know once you joined akia job how was your experience with us well It has been amazing, of course. You know, learning journey is always amazing. But uh, for me, it was a little bumpy ride in the beginning because because everything was just completely new, and you know, learning coding right from the very beginning, like right from scratch, is a bit difficult for any person. It doesn't matter whatever that is. But it was a bit bumpy in the beginning. But yeah, then it was pretty smooth, and it took some time. But I finally got a job. So, Varun, when did you think of shifting from freelancing to a permanent job, or maybe completely to IT field? I was looking for a change because I wasn't interested in it completely. So uh, I wasn't really, you know, preparing to become an elite electrical engineer per se. Uh, but I really wanted to just, just switch to IT field. So I joined the company. Then I joined IT jobs as well. So while working in that company, I learned it, and then I changed. Right. So can you tell us now, when you look back, right? How much did the mentors help you in studying and getting to know about this field? Given you were completely different field, so. How did how much did the mentors help you in this process? Mentors are just you know everything in this because if you're just not aware of what you what you're going to learn or what you require first is like the correct road map for it and I think the mentors really uh, laid out the road map pretty pretty clearly that was really helpful and then uh, I think they pretty much covered right everything from scratch everything from basics so I never really felt the need of like I need to do something prior. to joining this particular course so varun once you start studying syllabus like you're saying your your experience with mentors was amazing right so once this, you start studying syllabus there comes a time when you start taking mocks but students usually are very hesitant to take these mocks what do you think according to you should be the strategy what would you advise how much do you think these mocks helped you in your final placement see uh, i can tell you doesn't matter how much you learn but unless you have the experience of really facing that Uh, in a scenario where you get to recall everything under pressure that is really necessary for practice and there that is a moment when mocks comes in for real practice and uh, it really helps you because uh, when you're going to face a real life situation like a simulated situation like a mock and uh, you get to know what kind of questions they might ask it might be unpredictable for you and that's the situation where you will be most in your job so that is that is exactly the experience that you're going to get from your mock and that is why it is necessary so i think right after the basic courses and you are able to figure out things on your own you have started to do that i think that is the right moment for you to uh, you know appear for mocks right so you know when you came in given first of all you were coming from an electronics background then you freelanced for some time for few years and then you thought of changing your career towards it field what do you think how what hard was it for you like what were the challenges Yeah so it's like the whole world turning upside down it's 
<laughs> that's all i can tell you you know uh, spending like four years for learning electrical engineering like more than four years because i did my diploma in electrical as well and then you know it didn't work out for me and i knew that i had to make a change in it field so i did i just you know learned as much as i could on my own and then finally i had to join some course some professional course to you know really you know get the head start there to uh, learn all the things which are necessary and uh, most importantly choose someone who knows what uh, you know what is expected from that job I, of course you were able to pull it off that's why you got played in such a good company with such a good role what on given now when you look back right like you said it wasn't easy for you at that point of time right there are so many students who are coming from non it fields who want to make their career in it field but they're scared that given they do not have the edge like other students they do not have their computer science backgrounds so it will be very hard for them to make into this field so what advice you want to give to those those students first of all i can tell you uh... i can say that like even i thought that you know, even without you know coaching even without the help of a mentor i may be able to make i thought right that in the beginning but i can tell you the when it comes to coding you know it's much better to you know have a mentor in your life whoever that can be uh, i mean anybody can advise you any senior developer or you might join some professional course that you know makes things easier so i think that is something that one should be looking for and you do need a mentor Uh, doesn't matter how much you think that you can do everything on your own it won't be that easy so before ending this interview i want to ask you one last question varun you know if you could explain your entire journey with that job in one word or in one line uh, how would you explain it see uh, first of all i really really appreciate the effort of the founders and along with the the entire team uh, who is working behind the scenes to make it all of this work so if i just have to describe it i can just tell you that it is you know it's if you have heard this story like uh, there was a guy who was pushed by someone in a picnic in a swimming pool full of crocodiles and he was finally able to come out of it alive and then he just asked this question that who pushed me in the first place so the one who pushed it is that guy that's that's what i can tell you i'm so glad you had such a good experience with us thank you so much varun and i wish you nothing but the best for the future you are our alumni and you can reach out to us whenever you want and once again congratulations and all the best for your future Thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone, thank you so much for watching our interview with Varun. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like, share, subscribe and let us know in the comment section what kind of videos you want us to post. And yes, have a good day and keep learning.